The story for Dead Space 3 follows Isaac Clarke once again as he gets thrown back into the war against the Necromorphs and this time it might be the last time because he might know where the home world of the makers, the guys that actually made the Necromorphs are and if he gets there he might be able to actually destroy this world. The reason why he knows this is because his old girlfriend and old partner from Dead Space 2, Ellie Langford, knows where this home world is. In the beginning of the game you have to go and try to find Ellie, uh, see where she she is try to rescue her and if you do if you don't you have to go and find this home world either way I'm not gonna spoil if you do if you don't you have to go find this home world anyway because that's where most of the game takes place you're on a home world where it's all snowy and cold you have to go of course and fight necromorphs and find a way to stop the necromorph threat once and for all and along the way you actually have a partner named Carver this time if you play a single player you'll see him a couple times a couple times but if you play co-op, he's always there and he actually adds a lot more to the story. So, you know, if you play single player the first time, go back and play co-op because you actually get a lot more story and a lot more interesting uh, missions too, which I'll talk about in the gameplay. So I think the story here is actually really, really interesting. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, it's very bad, very convoluted. I know where it was going. I know what it was trying to do. Alright, I wasn't confused at all. I thought it was very entertaining and I actually really liked the characters. Dead Space 2 told me how much you could actually like Isaac because the first game I didn't like him because he didn't talk and I didn't know anything about him. Second game I actually knew something about him. He talked and I knew his personality and I liked him and I like him in here too and all the other characters I really like as well. So Dead Space 3 story, not fantastic, but I really enjoyed it. But now let's talk about the sound, which, of course, I like to start with the voice acting, which I thought was fantastic here. I think everybody that provided voice acting for all the main characters, and hell, even all the necromorphs, all the little screams you hear from them, all the little disturbing things that they say, I just thought all the voice acting was phenomenal, especially from the necromorphs, because that actually added a little bit more suspense in the environment, because you don't know where they're coming from. They just bust through doors and start screaming and cowling and doing these weird noises. They're, they're kind of freaky, I have to admit. So, voice acting, it's fantastic. Um, the sound design here is well done as well. All the guns that you get, all the guns that you can create in the game, all sound great. Um, the atmosphere is definitely spooky like it's always been. So, once again, the sound design for a Dead Space game is fantastic. And the soundtrack here is good. It's not really all that amazing, mostly because there's not really much of a soundtrack because it tries to keep it still kind of creepy. But there's times where that soundtrack comes in, and for the most part, it's pretty decent. So overall the sound here is really damn good. But now let's talk about the graphics for Dead Space 3 which just like the other two games in the series this game is disgustingly gorgeous. It really is. Especially when you get into some of the creature designs which sure there's a couple of necromorphs in here that look like they just got taken straight out of Dead Space 2 but you know what they added a little bit more polish to the animations to the designs themselves and maybe add a little couple of other disgusting little things like maybe they break apart a little bit better when you stomp on them and it's just a gory and disgusting looking game. Uh, all the animations are fantastic, especially some of the character animations from some of the main characters and especially when you change your suit. I always love the animation where it just like attaches that helmet to your face. Oh, I love that one. That's so cool. You have a wide variety of different environments and even when you start to spend a little bit too long in one environment, they actually start to open up different sections of the environment, which I thought was really cool. And of course, just like in any Dead Space game, the lighting effects are top notch and some of the best in video game history. So the graphics here are magnifique. But now let us talk about the most important part of any game and that is the gameplay. Dead Space 3 takes a more action oriented route than the other Dead Space games, especially when you get into the whole weapon customization section and the co-op section and all the side missions that you could do. I'll talk about those in a second. But Dead Space 3 tries and makes the combat, the shooting itself, much more refined than the other games, much more action oriented and they completely succeeded in this game because the shooting here is the best it's ever been and it is just so much fun to shoot a bunch of necromorphs or sometimes when you you have the opportunity to shoot humans and it's just so much fun it really is especially when you get into the weapon customization which I didn't want to talk about until later but I have to talk about right now it is so much fun it's so addicting just to stomp a bunch of necromorphs find little materials like scrap metal and like this semitic ooze and stuff I don't know what they're called but you you find a bunch of material and then you can actually go to a weapon bench and craft different items to put on your weapon or you can actually make a whole 
blueprint and just like make it from all the uh, materials that you actually got and make that entire blueprint or you can actually go and find little things that are kind of like the circuits in the other two games the circuit noids except you can actually upgrade different parts like damage and reload and and uh, a range of fire and stuff and I think the, the weapons customization here is the best part of Dead Space 3 it's just so much fun to customize and make brand new guns and then use them against the necromorph menace but again the shooting here is fantastic they added a couple new things like dodge rolls and you can actually crouch undercover when you're fighting humans and those add a little bit to the game and i didn't think the human parts were that bad especially since there's not that many of them there really isn't and when you shoot the humans and you fight them it feels pretty good too you can actually go up and just stomp the living hell out of them too and that's a lot of fun and of course like i said you have side missions in the game which the game itself is actually pretty long and the reason why it's actually really really long compared to the other games is because of the side missions if you decide to do them I have to admit, they're not the greatest missions out there. I mean, they're fun. It's cool to kill things, but I didn't feel like it added too much to the actual story. And especially since sometimes it's actually urgent for you to go somewhere and then you're just doing some side missions. They actually kind of broke up the story for me. But for the most part, I think the side missions are still kind of fun and they added a lot more gameplay. So I'll give it that. And the most controversial part of the game is the co-op. And I'm sorry, people. The co-op here is so much fun. It really is. Especially when you're just going around killing Necromorphs with a buddy uh, the atmosphere isn't tainted because of it it's so very creepy very dark very moody uh, when you're getting uh, attacked by like four or five different enemies it's still very tense it's still dead space even when you're in co-op except this time you actually can go around and like show your friend your new gun that you made and show off how awesome it is or you can actually swap blueprints and stuff and just like roll around and do your little like rolling dance like I always do with my character I, I, I love doing that so overall I just think the co-op co-op here is fun the shooting is great the atmosphere is still there and I think it's just a lot of fun even though I would think the side missions kind of break that up a little bit I still think this is an extremely fun game especially with co-op and also if you play co-op you actually get more side missions to play which are based around the Carver character so there you go you actually get more content so overall I think Dead Space 3 is an extremely fun game only only broken up by the fact that the side missions aren't that great in single player so overall I really like Dead Space 3 definitely go play it. a lot of fun a lot of fun thank you and goodbye